Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Network for You. We welcome you all to our CCNP series 350-401. That is N Core. So if you remember, we are going to do some uh, OSPF labs and theory. So let's do to today one topic that is path selection. This one path selection path operations. So we are going to do this one. We have lab. Let's cover this topic in maybe one or two video. Anyhow, we need to discuss here how paths are selecting. Example, if we are getting the same route from different areas, which one will be prefer more? Okay, OSPF is going to select which one and how the path is operation and how it is selection, how it is selecting as well as operation. So let's see that one. If you see here, this is a lab I design. I put 8.8.8 slash 32 network in all the router. We are going to verify in the router 5. In router 5, we are going to check from which uh, path we are getting the 8.8.8 .8 network. Okay. In which, from which path he is getting the 8.8.8. .8 .8. In this one, what I done, I created area 0, area 1, and we done some redistribution type 1, type 2 and also we created NSSA, non so stubby area. Maybe you are confused what is non so stubby area. This one we have more detail in the NRC. Now we are doing the N-Core. If you remember this is N-Core. Okay, this is N-Core, Enterprise Core. So we have NRC, in NRC we have more detail. In that one, we are going to discuss the different types of LSA, LSA 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all detail we are going to discuss and what is non so stubby area, what are the advantage, disadvantage, all that we are going to discuss in NRC. Here we don't have that one. If you see here, here they did not describe here NRC, uh, that is non so stubby area. They did not give here. We don't have that one. If we try to cover that one, it will become more lengthy. And many uh, guys are asking why we are doing it. This is not present. So anyhow, that topic we will do in the NRC. In Encore we don't have, but we are going to use some commands to configure this area as a non so stubby area. And I am going to tell you what is the meaning of non so stubby area and why we use this one. What are the advantage and like that we are going to discuss anyhow in the high level, not in the more detail. Okay. So now we need to remember, we are doing this lab to get the OSPF path selection. Okay, which path OSPF is selecting. If you remember here we have the 8.8.8. .8 I have this 8.8.8 .8 route from here also, here also, from here getting as a redistribution, here getting as a redistribution, here getting from the other area, area 0. This is area 0 here from the redistribution type 1. This is type 2. We are getting from different area also. Here this is area 2. So if you have the basic background of OSPF, OSPF, you have the idea about the what we can say area like O means what, OIA means what. If you have the basic background, you know that one. Anyhow, let me show you that one. I have some slide. Let me show you there. This is a OSPF path selection. Very soon we are going to launch the Encore series in the other websites. Free series will be there, but free series will take some time. So we are having the paid batches and paid series. So this notes they will get this one. Anyhow, if you don't have budget, if you don't want to invest, no issue, you can watch our free video. Okay. So here, if you see this one, this one I prepare for you all. With this one, you will have the idea. OSP of path selection. OSPF path selection as we have in our syllabus and core. OSPF use cost as a metric from CCNA level. We know that whenever we have the routers and all, they are using cost as a metric. They are checking the cost. If we want to go from one link to another link, they are checking. Example, I have the same destination. I have the same destination from this path as well as this path. They will check which one is having the low cost. They will use that one. We already know from the basic. Okay. So we are saying that one that is correct. Okay. No issue. That is we are saying that is correct, but that is not entirely correct. 
that is not fully correct because ospf first is going to look for type of path ospf is going to look for type of path to make the decision first they they will check the type of path after that they are going to look for the matrix that is cost example if you are buying any item from your uh, friend shop or any other guy shop so first you will prefer your friend shop right like that same example we can take osp of prefer first our part that is intra part then if we don't have intra part then he will look for the inter part if we don't have inter, inter part then he will look for the other part that is external part if we don't have external part then they will look for nssa type 1 if we don't have that one then external type 2 if we don't have that one then it will look nssa type 2 okay if you remember whenever we are configuring the ospf we are getting o root we are getting o root if both the router in the same area we will get o root and we call that one as a intra area intra area i hope you remember example i have router 1 uh, it is connected to another router and all are this is in the area 0 or area 1 or router are in same area so we will get root with this one intra area and it is indicated with o okay but example if you have here area 1 and this is area 2 it is having from different area or redistribution then we will have the oia inter area it is known as inter area and we have external area that is from the type 1 that is e and if you see non so stubby area type 1 that is indicated by n1 and we have external area type 2 that is e2 and non so stubby area type 2 that is n2 maybe you will have confusion what is type 1 type 2 and non so stubby area type 1 type 2 this one you are going to learn in the nrc now just remember they are see, uh, saying as the path selection so we need to say whenever we configure the ospf and if the ospf is getting the same root from the different uh, routers from different areas then first of all ospf going to give the more preference to the o o is nothing but intra area that is same area okay same area ospf also in the same area like you have router 1 router 2 if both are in same area you will give more preference to our area guy only right same like that ospf first they are going to give the high preference to the intra area that is same area if same area routes are not available in that one then it will go for the inter area that is coming from other area if it is not available then it will go external type 1 that is represented by n1 and then after that one it will go to the other one that is a e1 here this one e1 is nothing but external type 1 see this one is the nssc type 1 so they will go in this sequence they will go in this sequence if you are confused let me repeat again first of all you need to remember this one okay first of all remember this one intra area means o inter area means oia external type 1 means e1 nssc type 1 means n1 external type 2 means e2 nssc type 2 means n2 you remember this one after that you need to remember this sequence if we have available this one it will uh, bring the bring the root in the routing table with the o if o is not available then oia if it is not available then n1 if this is not available then e1 if not then n2 if not then from the e2 so what we can do we can create the lab as i told you we will configure the lab like this and after that we will do the configuration we will configure we will assign the ip address we will do the ospf router 1 router id i will assign the interface we can configure the ospf by using different method you can use the network id or you can use the interface method we will configure here this one i am just configuring the ospf i am taking the loop back zero okay and i am assigning the loop back zero is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and i am giving the subnet mask that is 255.255.255.255 this is ip address i am creating loop back zero with this ip same thing in the router r2 also i am doing the same i, I am assigning the ip address i am giving the loop back zero same ip 
and here router id will be different if you remember router id should not be same router id should not be same and i am putting this interface in the ospf okay and regarding the loopback zero i am doing the loopback zero as a redistribution redistribution connected subnet metric type 1 what is the meaning of this one redistributed connected means whatever is connected first i am putting this interface that is e0 by 0 first i am putting this interface e0 by 0 in the ospf after that i am doing the redistribution i am saying other than this one whatever is connected to me put that subnet into metric type 1 i am putting that one in the metric type 1 maybe you are confused what is type 1 why it is type 1 you will understand that one later when we do the NRC, in that one we have more clear. So we will configure this one, okay? After that one, if you have confusion, we can, I will show you diagram so you will have the idea. If you see here, if you go here, we are discussing for the router R2. This is a R2, okay? This is a R2. And here we have the area 0. If you see here, e0 by 0 this in this one e0 by 0 means this interface that is e0 by 0 this interface is in area 0 but the other interface which we have we are saying redistribution type 1 okay and we have the router 3 also how we will do in the router 3 same thing we assign the ip address whatever ip we have and we create the loop back and we give the router id router id should be different so i put the different and i i have the e0 by 0 this is for router 3 configuration for router 3 in the router 3 this interface is in the e0 by 0 and area 0 but the other interface that is loopback 0 is in the area 2 if you see this one area 2 if you have confusion see here what i am saying this one is in area 0 this one is in the area 2 okay so we are getting this e0 by 8.8.8 from the area 2 here from the redistribution type 1 here from the redistribution type 2 let me show you here also configuration for the r4 if you see here this is the r4 same thing assigning the ip address creating the loopback giving the same ip address to the loopback that is 8.8.8 .8 and configuring the ospf assigning the router id as a 4.4.4 .4. then i am giving the ospf 1 area 1 area 0 a area 1 area 0 osp of 1 area 0 area 0 means this is in the area 0 router 4 interface e0 by 0 this one this one is in area 0 and this one is coming from the redistribution type 2 redistribution connected subnet metric type 2 so this is a configuration for the router 4 now router 5 if you see router 5 is connected to all the routers so router 5 configuration will be little big all the interface is having the ip address I hope you already know how we can assign the IP address everything you learn already in the CCNA level. And then we are configuring the OSPF. If you see here what we are doing for this interface, all this interface in area 0, area 0, area 0, area 0. And some interface is in area 1. Okay. Which interface is in area 1? If you see interface E1 by 0 is in area 1. E1 by 1 is also area 1. And if you see... I am assigning this one as a area 1 as a NSSA. If you see this is the router 5. Let me show you the router 5. Here. Let me show you this diagram. I think maybe you will have the confusion for non so stubby area because we don't have here. Just let me give you some high level. Like we have the LSA 1, LSA 2, LSA 3, LSA 4, LSA 5. So we are blocking the LSA 5. We are blocking the LSA 5 in the stubby, stubby area. So what we will do if we configure non so stubby area, we will convert the LSA 5 into LSA 7 and we will allow them in the form of LSA 7. You will have more idea when we discuss the LSA 1, LSA 2, LSA 3. Maybe you have the idea about from the CCNA level, LSA 1 is nothing but uh, within the same area whenever all the routers are generating that is also known as router lsa then we have lsa2 lsa2 is known as the uh, like we can say network lsa and it is generated by the dr okay and the difference between the lsa1 lsa2 you can say in lsa2 you will have more detail like subnet mass is also present in the lsa2 that is lsa2 is nothing but the 
network LSA that is generated by the DR. Anyhow, we are going to discuss this one in the more detail when we do the NRC. In Encore, we don't have here, only we need to remember the pass selection. Here, only we need to show the pass selection. Anyhow, let me write here, if you have any confusion, I will write here, what is LSA like this, so you will have the idea. LSA 1, okay, LSA 1, LSA 2, LSA 3, this is generated by the router, it is known as router LSA, router LSA, and then we have the second one that is known as network LSA, this one is generated by the DR, network LSA, and the difference here, here we will have the more detail, we have the subnet mass also in this one, then we have the LSA 3, and LSA 4 that is known as summary LSA, summary LSA. Then we have the LSA, LSA 3 and 4, this one is having known as summary LSA. And after that we have the LSA 5 that is known as autonomous system external LSA. Okay, autonomous system L external LSA, we have the LSA 6, LSA 6 is known as multicast OSP of LSA. LSA okay and we have the LSA 7 that is known as non so stubby area non so not so stubby area LSA area anyhow maybe you will confuse now if I describe this all just remember if whenever you want to make this uh, what we can say whenever you want to send the LSA 5 it is block in the stubby area so what we will do we will configure non so stubby area so it will convert LSA 5 into LSA 7 and it will pass in the area later again it will convert from 7 to 5. But anyhow I want to show you the route that's why I am playing this one. I am converting the NSSA 1 uh, this is a non so stubby area I am converting this one. So you will have all the route. I want to show you all the route from the different way. That's why I am doing this one. But anyhow if you have any confusion no issue just you need to remember the sequence which I shown you like this one let me show you this sequence how the uh, OSPF is preferring the root 0 O greater than OIA greater than N1 greater than E1 N2 E2 so, okay this is the NSSA type 1 I define here and we have this is the NSSA area here I am doing a re redistribution with type 1 here type 2 okay so here we know configuration till here in router 6 configuration is easy just we are putting the IP address here and then we are configuring the OSPF both are in the OSPF area 1 here what we are saying if you see router 1 uh, router OSPF 1 then I am going inside the interface then IP OSPF 1 area 1 this is in area 1 okay and another one that is a loop back I am putting this one is a connected subnet metric 2 I am doing the re redistribution for matrix 2 by and I am putting this one in the non so stubby area. How we will put? We will write area 1 non so stubby area. Okay, and then for the R4, I am doing here same thing host name R1. I am putting the IP address and I am putting this interface in the area 1. And here I am writing router OSPF1 redistribution connected sub matrix subnet matrix type 1. So I am doing redistribution. I am using matrix type 1 here and I am putting in the non so stubby area area 1 as a non so stubby area after doing all this configuration when I check here I will get the show IP root OSPF I will get the OSPF 8.8.8 .8 root from O okay O means within the area within the area in the R1 if you see this one in the R1 router R1 if you see this is in the if you see here and here this both router are in the area 0 and I am getting the loopback 8.8.8 .8 .8, this one from this router also all the router but if you see this uh, all uh, this router R1, R5 in the same area so what we are saying first OSPF is going to prefer this area same area if we don't have then it will go for OIA so we have all available but OSPF is giving preference to this one so what I will do I will put in this one as a this loopback I will make shut down so what I done here, if you see here, I make this loopback as a interface loopback 0, shutdown. When I put shutdown, then I put show IP root OSPF, then I have OIA. I am getting the OIA. Okay. 
OIA I am getting from the router 3 so what I will do I will go to the router 3 if you remember if you see here router 3 go here see in this diagram this is a router 3 okay this is coming from the different area what we are saying first they will prefer the same area if you see here first it is uh, this router is getting the 8.8 .8 route from this area both are in the same area but when I put this down then he is looking the other area same area we have only one this one we don't have any other so what he will do this R5 will again start looking same area we don't have same area then other area this is a other area so he will get by saying OIA OIA so what I will do I will put this one is down I will go this interface this is loopback 0 I will put this no shut I will put this shut down so when this interface go down then it will change the route how it will change let me show you here in this diagram I put this loopback so we have OIA so I will go in the router 3 I will put this interface as a down when I put down it will you will get the O this one ON1 ON1 you will get the route from the ON1 ON1 is nothing but router 7 loopback let me show you router 7 if you see here router 7 this one is preferring N1 N1 means non so stubby area type 1 so you will get this one if you remember the sequence it will get, get from the N1 so what I will do I will put this one also down so then he will get from the E1 if I put E1 also down then he will get from the N2 if I put N2 also down then he will get from the E2 that's we want to verify so what I done here I put the router R7 R7 I will put the down so he, we will get the E1 E1 we are getting from the R2 and if I put R2 also down here if you see R2 R2 is getting from re redistribution type 1 from the area 0 when I put this one also down after that it will get from the I put this one down so you will have OE1 then we will have the N2 N2 we are getting from the 6 N2 we are getting from here when I go here and put this as a no shirt we will have the other one why so I will go in the 6 I will put no shirt then we will get the E2 E2 is nothing but getting from the this one R7 okay or any confusion anyhow if you are having confusion no problem just remember now this one only uh, just remember here it will be following this sequence they are going to get the OSP of path selection is going to uh, go in this direction first they will check O if roots are not from O then he will look for OIA if roots is not from here then this one this one this one like this remember and what is the O means what OIA means what you need to remember this one and lab is very easy maybe in our next video we are going to do the lab okay so thank you very much subscribe to our channel share with your friend who is interested in CCNA CCNP and Python thank you bye